A couple of weeks ago, I shared with you how I raise my energy levels on a daily basis. So what about your energy? In this episode, we are gonna talk about your energy levels, and I can promise you, it's not going to be what you think it might be. Stay tuned. How would you describe your energy levels? How much energy do you have available in your day? On a scale from 0 to 10, how would you rate your energy levels on average? And 0 means you are lacking energy significantly every single day, and 10 means you feel fully energized every single day. I will actually give you a couple of seconds to think about your energy levels and give them a rating. Go ahead. Great, well done. Well done for this reflection and doing it. You assessed your energy levels and by giving it an assessment, you probably now have some other thoughts that go along with that assessment. Either you might have some happy thoughts because you feel so energized every single day and you feel good about your life, or you have some more unhappy thoughts because you feel you are lacking energy and you would like to have some more to feel more energized than you currently do. Now I have a follow-up question for you. Do you know what your energy levels are? What do your energy levels actually consist of? What variables or parts in your life play a role in the totality of your energy levels? You might have a rough idea and might use descriptions like my energy levels describe how much energy I have each day to complete all of my tasks and the things that I want to do. Or my energy levels describe how well I'm doing and feeling on a particular day. Or my energy levels can be up or down. And to be honest, I have no clue what exactly influences them because it feels a bit random sometimes. All of these answers are perfectly fine. But as I always like to say, how can you change something that you don't even understand? Do you think that you would actually be able to manage your energy levels better if you knew what they consist of? Wouldn't you agree that you would be able to improve and raise your energy levels once you understand what they actually are? Yeah? Okay, fantastic. So let's do that. Let's talk about your energy levels. So the perception that most people have is that they don't have enough energy available and that they'd like to have more of it. Makes sense, right? So they perceive their energy to be limited. And that means they need to do something to get more of it. And that can create a cycle of dread. I'm already low in energy and I believe I have to do something to have more of it. So to do that, I need energy, which I already lack. So I can't really do that. Can you see that this can be a vicious cycle to be in? And I know now that I was myself living in this vicious cycle when I was burned out. I was stuck in feeling never truly energized in the first place and then believing that I needed to spend even more energy to do something about it, like creating better habits in exercise or what I eat or what I drink. But of course, creating new habits and changing old habits needs energy. But the real problem was my perception. I did not know what life energy was and how it was created. So I assumed that I had to do something to get more energy. Otherwise, I lack energy. But the funny thing is, it's kind of the opposite. I turn this perception now on its head and tell you that you have access to an abundant amount of energy, an endless amount of energy. You naturally have already a limitless amount of energy available to you, but something happens that blocks that limitless flow of energy. So instead of 
doing something to get more energy. We actually want to let go of something to receive more energy back. And I have a great metaphor for you to explain this concept. It's the float on water metaphor. Imagine you're afloat on the ocean, bobbing nicely on the surface. The ocean surface is the natural state where we float and it represents the natural state of limitless energy, okay? This is our natural state of being. We don't have to create it, it's just there. We have to find our way back to it. So we are floating nicely on the top of the ocean with no worries in the world. Then we go through life and we collect experiences, events, relationships, trauma that have such an emotional impact that the subconscious mind stores this information as a threat to watch out for in the future. A long-term memory with a high emotional charge was stored now in your energy system. And the more of these memories that we collect throughout our lives, we further move away from the ocean surface, like weights hanging off of us and taking us underneath the surface. So we're moving away from the ocean surface, which is a limitless flow of energy, and we get pushed down underneath the surface by all of this weight of those memories. And the memories that I'm talking about are the ones that make us feel highly emotional. You can have a memory and when you talk about it or you actually remember it in your mind, you feel fine. It's like telling a story. But then there are memories that when we talk about it or we remember them, they make us feel sad, angry, frustrated, betrayed, guilty or ashamed. And I'm sure you can think of a memory like that. And those are the memories that are blockages in the energy system of our body. The abundant energy flow is now reduced and hindered by blockages consisting of those memories with unwanted and unintegrated emotions. You are now underneath the surface and you don't have access anymore to the ocean surface, to the limitless energy. Does that make sense? So think about it as well like your cardiovascular system and the blood flowing through your veins and your arteries. The blood flow can be blocked through plaque that builds up over time, right? We all know this, we probably learned this at school or we caught it on some kind of TV show when they were talking about heart attacks or heart problems. So we want to release these energy blockages like we want to get rid of the plaque in our arteries so we can access as much energy as we want. All you need to do is to let go of the unintegrated emotions of those memories. Remember, you can have a memory that doesn't make you highly emotional. And what happened is that over time, you were able to remove the high emotional charge from the memory and let that emotion integrate into you. It's not anymore suppressed or denied or not accepted, aka unintegrated. So it's all about letting go of this inner resistance that keeps us from not feeling fully energized, which is your birthright. Opportunities for us to release those weights that keep us underneath the surface are endless in our lives. The subconscious mind will create situations in your life to bring up those memories for you to finally release the attached emotion. That's what happens when we realize those patterns in our lives. Those are opportunities for us to let go of the emotional charge of a memory. And if we don't listen and take the chance, the pattern keeps repeating and the events will become louder, aka more painful, as the subconscious mind wants you to listen and release this emotional charge from the memory. It wants you to heal. And of course, it wants you to return back to the ocean surface where it's just easy and you always have access to an abundant flow of energy. Okay, now that you understand your energy and why your energy levels are what they are, you can take steps to improve them. Am I right? 
but not the usual step that you would think to take. And the fun thing about releasing those blockages from your energy system is that when you have released one, they don't come back. They are gone. Sure, there is always more to let go of. <laughs> Let's be honest. We did collect enough memories over the last few decades, right? But when you release one memory from its emotional charge, it turns into energy that is available to you. Your flow of energy on a daily basis has just increased. You have come back up closer to the ocean surface. Does this make sense to you? So let me share with you what you can do to unblock your energy system. Step number one is noticing. Notice when you get triggered, when you are highly emotional, or feel an emotion coming to the surface at the thought of a memory, a person, or a situation in your life. The second step is to allow and to accept it to happen. So once you become aware of an emotion that you want to let go of, and you're ready to go through the process of releasing and transmuting this emotion, you want to first of all allow and accept the feeling to come up and be what it is. Don't fall again into the trap of denying it, to mislabel it, to suppress it. No, you want to accept and allow it, okay? Step number three is to express and to experience it. You want to express the emotion, experience the energy that is flowing through you as part of the emotion. You want to let go of anything that might hold you back from fully experiencing what wants to be felt. And if you don't know really how to do that, don't worry. Listen to episode 111, 111, to learn more about this step and how to express and experience an emotion. I exactly explained to you how to do that in that episode. And again, it might not be what you think it is. <laughs> so listen to episode 111. And this last step of the process is owned by the emotion itself that you allow to express just now. It will release itself and the energy will transmute. It will transform into something else. It will be given back to you. The energy released by feeling the emotion is going back to your abundant energy flow. Yay! <laughs> So try this emotional release technique next time you remember an emotionally charged memory or you are triggered and you feel a low vibrating emotion. Come back to this episode or you just write down the steps already now to be able to apply them to the emotions so you can release it and bring back energy to your life. Whoop whoop! <laughs> And if you'd like some more support on learning this technique, then you can always join the Energy Academy. This is one of the tools you learn throughout the program. And we dive much, much deeper as well into the topic of energy, emotional intelligence and biology to provide you with the highest clarity how to release your emotions. So there are lots of more knowledge that you can obtain to make this really work for you. No questions stay unanswered in the Energy Academy, so you know exactly what to do. The link to sign up for the Energy Academy is underneath the video. I thank you so much for watching this video with me today, and I hope this revelation about your energy levels will change your life. Why not? Let it happen. And with that, I love you and I leave you. Talk soon and bye-bye.